Welcome to Stanford. My name is Malcolm Kay. I'm the superintendent of the school. I've been the superintendent since April 2011. So the vision itself relates to each individual child uh, to achieve more than they believe they can. So what we're doing as a school is actually saying that we will understand every child, understand their strengths, understand where they need support, understand their learning styles, and work out uh, a specific program to support them as individuals so that they will truly achieve excellence in everything they do. The curriculum at Stanford is based upon two factors. One is the International Baccalaureate Program, the Primary Years Program and the Middle Years Program, which are both excellent preparation for the Diploma Program. And as such, uh, we offer a college preparatory program, which will allow students to get to the best colleges and universities all over the world. But the other part of our program is standards-based. So we use Aero standards, American Education Reaches Out, and those standards plot the development of each child throughout the curriculum. So we, we underpin our curriculum in a very traditional way through standards, but we have a progressive curriculum, an inquiry-based curriculum, the International Baccalaureate Program, that lays over the top of that, and that dictates the style of the teaching and learning that takes place in the school. So the way it works at Stanford is that we have really two approaches to the curriculum. There's the what and there's the how. And the how of the curriculum is the International Baccalaureate. That's our delivery system. And so in the middle school and, and overall, there's a focus on communication, intercultural awareness, and holistic learning, this integration of subjects. The content, which is the what, we focus on American standards, American benchmarks, and we look at that transferability of students. So coming at an American curriculum and American content from an international perspective opens up these opportunities for students that wouldn't necessarily be open for them. So one of the things that we look for with uh, both staff and, and potential students that they have passion that they're willing to actually take these risks and try things. So we have things like dance and um, golf and swimming and some of these things that traditionally other schools may not have. And so we want students that actually want to give it a go and, uh, and take some risks. Uh, and the other thing I'm looking for is excitement. We love Stanford! You know, students, when they're excited about coming to school and excited about learning, they're, they're going to learn a lot more. They're going to feel really comfortable. They're going to do the things that they feel excited about. Um, they're going to feel really good about school. And so there's a lot of research that shows if kids are happy, they're excited, um, and they're passionate, then the sky's the limit. Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm in grade 9. I'm very happy to be a student at Stanford American International School. Some students come by MRT, some walk to school, others ride the door-to-door -door school bus or get dropped off by the parents. Since I'm in the secondary school, the MRT is a great way to travel and the Woodley MRT station is right next to campus. Stanford's campus is centrally located off Upper Serangoon Road. Our school security system is pretty high tech. I just swipe my card and I enter. Right next to gate one is the Franklin building where upper elementary and secondary school have classes. Franklin also holds the science wing, drama studios, and will lead to the phase two extension of the secondary school. I arrive at school a little early. So I can spend some time playing soccer with my friends on Stanford Field before class starts at 8.45. Across Stanford Field, the campus continues. There is lots of playground space and Washington Plaza is an open play area that connects both the Jefferson Building and the Washington Building. This is also where the school cafeteria is and the parent cafe, but that's just for parents. The Lincoln Building connects to the Washington Building and houses the Lower Elementary School and the Learning Resource and Media Center which is complete with the iLearn Center. The library is a great place to come during recess and to work on research projects 
but there are even more benefits provided by the library than what's physically there. There are thousands of ebooks available that you can borrow online, and there's lots of great research tools that we have access to from home as well as school. Then there's the iLearn. It is an interactive learning environment and is super cool. People from all over the world are beamed into the iLearn just as if they are in the same room with us. Am I coming, Am I coming in, clear? in clear? School ends at 3.30, but many students stay on campus Hi. after school for the array Hi. of co-curricular activities or CCA that Stanford offers. I love the chance to join new activities every semester and I really enjoy both competing in sports and participating in the performing arts. In fact, I have a lead role in the next production. But enough about me, here's Jamie to talk about phase two. Hi, I'm Jamie from grade eight and I have been at Stanford for five years. I think Stanford is already a great school, but it will be even better when phase two is finished after summer break. There's no doubt that uh, phase one has been very well received. There's not a single member of our community that hasn't said this is an outstanding educational facility, but phase two will go even beyond what phase one has delivered. Phase two will extend the physical space and resources of the secondary school even further. We'll have another library and cafeteria, another gymnasium, another swimming pool, plus tennis courts and golf excellence center, a state-of-the-art theater, and the first ever innovation center to bridge our programs with the business world and give students the opportunity to work on real business problems. Along with being innovative, here at Stanford we believe it is very important for students to learn a foreign language. Here is my Mandarin class where I learn Mandarin every day for a full 40 minute period. Gotta go! Stanford also offers Spanish as a foreign language, has a bilingual program, and provides English as an additional language. Daily foreign language starts in the nursery at two years old, and each year lessons increase in difficulty with the aim of developing fluency. In Mandarin class, we cover reading, writing, speaking, and culture, and are grouped into levels from one to seven, so that whether you are new or continuing with a language, you are challenged to progress. Mrs. Shania is one of our foreign language teachers. Here she is teaching Mandarin to Kindergarten One. My name is Shania Gao. I'm originally from uh, China, Chengdu. Um, this is my third year as a Mandarin teacher at Stanford. In Stanford, we, pro we provide the best teaching practice and the learning experience so that each individual student um, can can achieve more than they believe they can. The students love to learn Chinese and they're very enthusiastic and it's just amazing to see their growth and to see them practice in Chinese and get excited when they learn a new word or new ways of saying things. Hi, my name is Chen Qi. I moved to Singapore from San Francisco and I'm the grade one Chinese immersion teacher. When I saw the program description on the Stanford website, I just knew this was the program for me. I've always been into inquiry-based learning and just the learner profile that was described was just amazing. The values are what I've always wanted to instill in the children. I'm Kara, I'm in grade 5, and I love my teacher, Ms. Karada. All the other teachers in the elementary school are great too. The greatest strength at Stanford, absolutely, I think, is the dedication of the teachers. And I think that we are all so passionate about what we do. The teachers here are doing the best that they can to make sure that each child gets a quality education. My philosophy and Stanford's philosophy for this age group is for the children to become empowered and feel independent and love coming to school. And I think one of the great features that uh, we have in the nursery is that we have a free flow 
programme for the children. So the children are free to choose where to go so they can play inside or outside at any time during the day. Again, all the learning centres which are set up in the classroom, and we have a, a creative area, we have a language area. So it's about giving them the opportunity to make independent choices. In pre-kindergarten we introduce the primary years programme so this is the first time the children will have met it from coming up from nursery. The, the programme is very much based on children becoming inquirers, wondering, asking questions um, and at the same time following their interests. I really believe in inquiry based um, teaching learning, I believe in conceptual based learning and I believe in making students part of their learning teaching in a way that's engaging, meaningful, and relevant um, for the 21st century. In class, they'll learn their division facts and their algorithms and ways to do division. In our class, we'll talk about uh, problems that, what does division mean? What does it look like? They'll do problems where they take large things and divide them into equal groups. So they're developing the concept of division rather than the step-by-step -step skill of doing division. This school has really pushed me in terms of differentiation. Instruction is based towards students' individual needs. Um, bringing in the map assessments is new to me and just really looking at the whole child in terms of their education. At Stanford in fall and spring we administer the NWEA map test which stands for Measures of Academic Progress and it's a standardised test which is unique and, and fairly progressive I think in that as each child takes the test, the test adjusts to their level of ability. The benefits of that are at the end of the testing we have quite individual data on students which is fantastic for our teachers to be able to personalise and individualized learning using that data. I decided to come to Stanford um, because of all of the technology that is available at this school and I thought it would be a good experience for myself and for my future students. My students use, their te use technology in the classroom every day. Um, I find it to be quite incredible that grade one students are able to do the things that they can do on their iPads and uh, make presentations and work on assignments independently without a lot of assistance from me, just guidance. I really like also the holistic approach we have to education, so we're not just focusing on academics, though that's a huge part. We have a second step program that we implement, which is the social emotional program, where we discuss things like empathy and social interaction, interpersonal relationships, and we have the IB learner profile too, that we're always encouraging our kids to be, you know, principal, balanced students, so, there's the academic piece, but then there's several other things going on at the same time. Right now I'm in the PYP, but next year I'll graduate to the MYP. We have math enrichment classes, second step social classes, and daily language classes. In addition, we have specialist classes like drama, physical education, art, and music. Here at Stanford, every day is active and exciting, and I love coming to school. Hi, my name is Freya, and I'm in grade 10. This year is my last year of doing the Middle Years program, and next year in grade 11, I will be starting the Diploma program. Stanford's academic program incorporates the IB and American standards so we can get the best of both. We can also sit for the US advanced placement exams in a variety of subjects and earn credits for college. From kindergarten two up to grade five, every student gets their own iPad. Students get to use them in all sorts of creative ways from recording videos to compiling their digital portfolios to enhance what they're working on in class. In the secondary school, from grade six through graduation, we each get our own MacBook. Technology is integrated throughout all of our classes and it makes everything we do more engaging. Behind me, you can see one of our iPad teachers, Mr. Gable, working closely with some of our students. As an ICT integrationist here at Stanford, my role is to help teachers integrate technology into their teaching and the learning in the classroom. 
I work by sort of introducing new skills to students as well as modeling lessons for teachers and supporting teachers as they sort of forge out on their own to, to deliver new ideas and, and new ways of using the tools in their teaching. Well basically what we do is we take what they're studying and see how we can use the technology to enhance that learning. This is leading edge technology. I, I've never seen this much technology at a school before and the fact that these students are able to have this at their fingertips and be able to use it on a daily basis just makes it just that much more intriguing. Miss Tam is our college and careers advisor. She talks to universities all around the world and introduces us to them. We've had a lot of schools come through. We've had um, U University of Southern California, we've had U Chicago, uh, Cornell, Vanderbilt, Rice, um, just to name a few. Curriculum wise, I think one of the more unique points of the school is that it's the only school in Singapore that does offer both the advanced placement and the IB diploma. And so it does offer students an option to look at different, uh, different type of curriculum. Uh, I think the other unique point is that it is a very international community. So the students that I interact with are from all over the world. So it is, it's really interesting to be working with such a diverse community. I've told the staff when I got here this year that it's a dream job because I'm coming into a new situation with a new motivated, excited staff of highly qualified professionals experienced in their fields. And so I can't ask for a better situation to walk in and work with people who are just as excited as I am to create these programs for our students as they move up through the grades. Well, one of the great strengths is this vision in terms of the idea of using the IB curriculum with the American curriculum, because I have experience with both, and to blend them together, and with the, with the adding of the technology, I think is a great formula for successful education. After seeing the school and what it had to offer, I was really excited. The resources are unmatched and the kids truly get to be kids. They are so inquisitive and curious about everything and enthusiastic about everything. They love learning, they're willing to participate, and we just have a great time doing it all. In the secondary school, we get to choose from a number of electives that range from academic to artistic to athletic. We also are actively engaged in community service efforts for our latest international school camp, we travelled to Cambodia as a part of our service project. Mr Hancock, our academic dean, can tell you more about this project. Stanford American has been involved with World Assistance for Cambodia for about a year now, and the World Assistance for Cambodia is a program that gives us an opportunity to develop and make a school in Cambodia. It really was an opportunity uh, to partner with our PTA and to provide a focus for our community and service project as a community. It ties into Stanford's vision in the sense that Stanford is a doing school and community and service at the school here, we don't pay lip service to it, we actually allow students to decide and take appropriate action in order to, to make the world a better place. Hi, I'm Zach from Grade A. I like all of my classes, well, some more than others, but I especially like the performing arts. I really enjoy attending drama, music, and visual arts. In drama, we get to use our imaginations and build confidence performing in front of others. In music, we learn to read music and play musical instruments. And in visual arts, we do all sorts of creative projects that align with what we're learning in our other classes. This is Miss Bailey. She is one of the art teachers. Today, her class is listening to a visiting artist. Our visiting artist program is really great because it brings in a local and international perspective for the students to learn from. My focus for the visiting artists that I'm bringing in this year are all Singapore-based, which I think is really great because for the students here, they have a tendency to sort of live in their environment that they've created for themselves in the Stanford community. And to have them have people coming in from the Singapore community and actually teaching back to them is really, really exciting for them. Music is one of my favorite classes, and Miss Gibson is one of my favorite teachers. She's head of music, and right now she's teaching grade six. One of the main strengths that I see 
that Stanford has is that students, are, our vision statement, that students are going to achieve more than they believe they can and that is certainly evident in our music department and whereas children thought that they might not be able to achieve something, they are recognising, they are performing and their parents are seeing and witnessing what they are achieving. We also get lots of opportunities to perform. There are student lunch concerts every Friday where students can showcase their talents. lots of art exhibitions, and we have a number of drama productions every year. Last year, I was Captain Hook in the school production. Here is Miss Nicholson. She is head of the performing arts and also teaches us drama. Here she is in our awesome drama studio, working with grade eight. I believe that drama is an essential part of every student's life. I believe that it is fundamental to mankind. Since we are very, very young, we like to become somebody else. We like to step into somebody else's shoes. And that can develop great empathy among students. I think drama develops students' social, emotional, intellectual, verbal, and physical aspects of themselves. It allows students to develop self-confidence and communication skills. So although we may not be developing the next Johnny Depp or Meryl Streep, we are creating students who will be confident and capable communicators. However, if we do happen to create the next Johnny Depp or Meryl Streep, that will also be a great benefit. Our sports facilities are awesome. We have a huge playing field for all sorts of sports. The fully air-conditioned Jefferson Arena for gymnastics and basketball. Oh! A swimming pool. A climbing wall. There's even a dance studio. We even have a zip line. Mr. Williams is the head of PE. He also teaches. Here's with grade five. Uh, the resources are brand new and everything is catered towards the students. So we have a lot of equipment that we can use for lessons, but we also have a lot of technology that we can incorporate into lessons to make the, uh, the students uh, be able to inquire more into a wide range of sports and activities. For assessment, we like to um, film students and we, so they can actually have a look and get feedback straight away from, from the iPad so they can visually see what they're doing wrong and what needs to be corrected. And we also use apps that put augmented reality within the iPad so they can actually just point an iPad at the, the pool and see a video of Michael Phelps or another, another Olympic swimmer on the screen doing the, the technique that they wish they could do. So they can use all this feedback to, to reassess what they're doing. Hi, I'm Noah, I'm from France and I'm in grade eight. I think the string cafe is amazing because it has organic food, but don't take it wrong. Organic food and healthy food does not mean boring food. It is run by Chef Emmanuel Soubant who is a well-known restaurateur in Singapore. Chef Emmanuel partnered with Stanford because he wanted to ensure that students are served healthy, fresh, and nutritious food. The chef believes a good diet can improve concentration and energy levels and boost classroom performance. When I started my chef's career, I had no idea where I would go through. So opening the restaurant stuff like this was part of what I would normally call a, a normal evolution into my career. So I wanted to do something for the children and with the children. It's different because there is some magic in the children's. When we give fresh tomatoes and we explain to them where they're coming from or, or leeks or something new to them, they are like, wow, so new. Well, adults, we, take, we tend to take things for granted. Oh, another carrot, oh, another potato. So I really enjoy the fact that we can teach them and show them how it's growing, where it's coming from, how it's cooked. It's really fantastic. We even have a parent cafe that's just for adults. It serves baked goods, beverages, and a lot of good stuff. The parents seem to really like it. Yeah. Oh, hi. Right now we're sitting in the um, parent cafe and it's usually crowded with many parents and teachers. The community feel at Stanford is wonderful. Um, parents are on campus every day, interacting with their children, interacting with the teachers. The spirit is wonderful here. We were concerned about moving abroad and the education that our children would receive, but they are in very good hands here. My husband and I were actually just saying the other night that we could see where this school specifically would be a very big factor in our decision to extend our time in Singapore. 
It's a dream come true, not just for me, but for my kids. They're so excited to go to school. My son sings in the mornings. I just personally think that the school is going to go from strength to strength. The seeds have been planted, and we just want to see that tree flourish and grow. Um, because uh, I think it will be one of the most highly regarded schools, not only in Singapore, but the world as well. It's a privilege to work on this campus, and I think all of our teachers and the faculty would say the same thing. We do have an outstanding campus, we do deliver an excellent educational program, and being part of this community is very, very special. We have a, a community that works together and looks after the education of each individual child, and that, at the end of the day, is what education is about. And if you think this is good, watch out for phase two.